How many times you might have downloaded any executable file but you are afraid to run it just because of fear that it might infect your PC with virus. Not only this but you are also unable to run any suspicious software just because of this. But what if I tell you that there is a utility in Windows where you can run that action without any fear. It's Windows Sandbox. Windows Sandbox is officially released from now and now it's also available for use on Windows. You can run any suspicious software on Windows Sandbox and open file. But how? Don't worry, I will tell you. But before this, let's understand what is this Windows Sandbox. Windows Sandbox is a utility designed by Windows in which you can perform any action you performed on Windows. But this action would be performed in an isolated environment. Which means the window will have no effect of this action. It just works like a virtual box. The term sandbox comes from the concept of children's playground sandbox, an isolated area for imaginative and unrestrictive play. Similarly, a digital sandbox provides a virtual environment to execute programs. This virtual environment contains file system, networks and operating system to run application and processes. Now if you ask that how Windows Sandbox is able to perform its action, this is also something that I will tell you. The Windows Sandbox runs on the principle of virtualization. This principle works as if when Windows Sandbox is launched, it just abstracts some of your physical resources from computer, like CPU cores, memory, memory space, HDD space into virtual resources and just allocate it. Any action you performed in Sandbox will occupy that virtual resources. This action will be performed by using internal resources and so the external resources will be protected. For example, in this image you can see the computer resource usage without sandboxing and in the other you can see the computer resource usage with sandboxing. In which the red boxes indicate suspicious programs while the grey indicates a system original program. Although a sandbox is officially isolated from the original environment, but it has some link with it and you can copy paste files between the system and sandbox. But unfortunately, I would like to tell you that any changes you will make in Windows Sandbox are not permanent and will be discarded once you close the Windows Sandbox. There was a time when Windows Sandbox had a snapshot feature where you could save your progress. But of my knowledge, this feature is now cut off from Sandbox. So the Sandbox is just designed to run any program you are suspicious about. Now let's discuss how did Windows Sandbox develop. The introduction of Windows Sandbox in Windows 10 can be traced back to Microsoft ongoing effort to improve the security and usability of its operating system. They wanted to build any feature that will help their users to prevent their operating system from threats. This resulted in the development of Windows Sandbox in the new Windows update on 10 May 2090. The Sandbox was just available for use on Windows 10's Pro and Windows 10 Enterprise. And so every Windows version doesn't have this feature. To run Windows Sandbox, you must have the following prerequisites, and so the Windows Sandbox will run on your system. Now one last thing is remaining that how to use it. Make sure to fulfill the requirements of Windows Sandbox and then just go to Windows feature on and off. And here just search for a feature Windows Sandbox. Make sure to enable this feature and then you will need a minor restart. After restart, just research for Windows Sandbox. Once it's open, I just have this VBS script file and I don't trust it to run on my PC. So I will just check it on my Sandbox. And I will check it and once I am completely aware that it is completely safe, I will close the Sandbox and then I, it will discard all the changes. And so I am now a completely trusted that the file is safe. Although there is no such application for use for us in Windows Sandbox, but it is used by cyber security where they deal with a massive amount of viruses and so the sandboxes prevents the spread of unknown vulnerability. Sometimes the antivirus product fails to detect the file and so the sandbox proves beneficial in it. And so these were all applications of Windows Sandbox and this detailed tutorial I hope this will help you in getting the point. If it did so, make sure to subscribe the channel and thumbs up for the video. I will meet you in another video.
Till then, it's goodbye.